goats are fun. I want some of these goats. Can we get some goats? Howdy from down on the farm. Welcome to another Friday farm update. I'm just popping in here real quick because we have a little bit of a different video this Friday. We took off the last week so that we could spend some family time together and catch up on some new projects. So I've got some footage from that time off that we are going to show you today. We're going to start with the most current and work on backwards. Earlier this week we started cleaning up our greenhouse so that we can get it ready for fall and winter planning. So let's check out that footage here. Poochie, poochie, poochie! You were not a plant, you were a dog. Although, did you know that what, she went down there and pulled out a weed for the next hmm. You're a weeding dog? Are you gonna weed the greenhouse, Poochie? That dog can never help me. Mom. Huh? Um, um, should I cut down all those and go all the way down below? Just, just hold on and I'll tell you. No, we're not. Where there's tomatoes there, so I don't want you to pull them out. And there's hibiscus, and there's some stuff in here. So just wait, and I'll give you directions. Look at all these carrots I found. Take them out the line. So I'll give her something. Come here, Poochie. Poochie. Lots of carrots. Lots, Lots of, of carrots. carrots. You mean that wasn't all just weeds? No, it wasn't. Oh, good. Looks good. Take them in, and then we got to finish weeding. All right. There's a lot of Take them in and set them on the table. It's hot in here. I'm weeding. Weeding? Yeah. That is my lemon verbena plant. Went insane. It went from that little bitty thing to this tree. Crazy. We got a lot of stuff cleaned up in here, but I realized that it's crawling with bugs. And so, we're done for now. I'm going to spray this thing down and work on some bug care before we dig into that back alley back there. Hey, Poochie! Hey, Poochie! So the greenhouse is coming along. There was a lot to do in there, and we still have a lot to get going before we start planting, which will be happening in the next few weeks. The week prior to that that we took off, we went to Bend, Oregon. We wanted to tour Bend Soap Company and check out their facilities and how they run their business, as well as meet their goats and see how they make their soap. So come on to Bend with us. Get her! Get her! Get her! Not you. <laughs> we don't want you chasing Chicky. Time to go. Where are we going? To to Ben. To Ben. To Ben. Ben Soap Company. Ben Soap Company. Well, they, well I want to milk a goat. We'll see. <laughs> Playing horse, Ready, Ready? Ready for what? Well, I forget you're a hunter now. <laughs> Howdy from down on the farm. Today's farm update is going to be off of the farm. We're going on an adventure to bend soap. Clear it up. Ooh, that's the first time. Taking a pit stop at the Matolia Springs. Okay. Is this gonna be mine, Dad? Oh, 
like to say, this is misleading. I believe that Springs have their origin in the Cascade Mountains to the west. The usual fault, which the Green Ridge is thought to have brought the springs to the surface, thus releasing the beautiful notorious river. <laughs> For food, <laughs> kitty, 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 hey. kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, I can see him. Hey, Maya's gonna take one home for a pet. I think I would love to. <laughs> you, I want you. It's either Jefferson or Hood. Dad, are you gonna use these? Wow, I have a great new idea. Oh, I got the bird. It's very close when I see this. Yeah. Oh yeah, I might find Jackie. Suddenly it's a river, huh? Oh, so oh. that's the beginning of the Metolius River? Yes. It's not very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, look down there. See how small it is right yeah. there? Yeah. And look how big it is down here. There's a series of springs yeah, all through that. here where it, it boils up out of there. Some, you want to hold your hand flat and then right up next to the fence and they'll stick their little hands through and they'll nibble at it. Now, does anyone know why we put our hands flat? Why do we put our hands flat? Yeah, if they're curled up like this, they're more likely to nibble on your fingers. Goats are fun. I want some of these goats. Can we get some goats, Mom? <laughs> so, we have several different types of goats. Sonnens, Nubians, we might have some others as well. Once the babies are born, they'll milk for a few months, and then after that, we wean them off, and then we can keep milking the mamas. We've actually got a machine in there. There's a couple of stands the goats crawl on. While they're sitting on the stand, they eat some of this feed, and uh, we've got a machine that they hook up and milk the, uh, the goats. Chance, who is on the right, is the son that had really bad eczema. So while he's getting up the goat, I'll tell you the story for those of y'all that don't know, but um, the Johnsons were always fairly health conscious, worried about what they ate, things of that nature. Uh, but Chance had really bad eczema to the point that he would actually scratch and bleed. And uh, Dwight started researching all the like, you know, what's wrong, is it diet, is it whatever. And in the process, what he learned is that most um, soaps have a lot of toxic mm -hmm. chemicals in them. And he started researching what alternatives would be, and he realized goat milk's actually really good for the skin. Yeah. And then if you add that with palm oil, coconut oil, olive oil, it makes for a great soap. Around this front leg, there you go, and that we won't kick. Perfect. I like but so he um, <laughs> almost instantly had reduced the variation. Had the baby. And then uh, within a week or so, it had just gone. The eczema was no longer an issue for him. Charity. So he started giving it out to friends because he had extra bars when he made his loaf. And Dwight's always looking to give things out yeah. and just you know, you wanna be nice to folks in town. And can you go on that for uh, He had people coming back saying, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And uh, she was just saying, we used to have our entire operation up above. We moved down here in about uh, February. The soap they made yesterday. When they mix it all up, it's in a big liquid form, 
And then when they're done, they tip the okay. pot okay. and it fills yeah. up one of these bowls. So they put it on this machine over there, that blue machine that this lady's using. And that machine has got air compressor and wires and it cuts the wires through the soap to cut it into the little bowl. Okay. Replacement of the traditional products that were available. So we've got our soaps. We also have sugar scrubs, lotions, lip butter, um, and the milk bag. The goats? Did you feed a goat? Did you hold the baby goat? What about you, farm boy? I had fun with the uh, guy back there telling us what about the farm. Inside or outside? Both. And are you excited to try a new deodorant? Probably. <laughs> that was certainly a fun trip and we brought back a lot of soap and some deodorant as well as some lotion and we learned a whole lot about how they run their business. So that concludes this Friday farm update. We will see you next time. St. Fiacra's farm. Fiacra. 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 Thanks for joining us on the farm.